the most of my adult life was in prison because of uh, not committing crime, wrongly accused. So when I got locked up, uh, my whole city, I would say country, half of my country stood up for me. I grew up in a single parent uh, household, just me and my mom, uh, probably grandmom, you get support, two uncles. We never really had support, so when you get these type of people supporting you, when I got out of prison, I wanted to make sure I give that back to the people. And you know, we started a foundation where we raised $100 million within like two years. Uh, very powerful people from all races, Asian, black, white, uh, Spanish. We put them, we all in a room like this, and we take our power and influence and try to change laws from state to state. And I always express to them, I make music. They met me making music. They use me as a trampoline, as the door to be able to access kids from 8 to 50 years old. I tell them that I, I'm not a politician. Uh, God put me in this position, and I'm going to remain it and hold it as an open door. I use rap as my trampoline to be able to communicate and have the reach that I have. That's what got me in this room with the president right here making music. So I use that as my door to keep activating things. And making it to Ghana is a dream of mine to always be able to come back here and do anything. I don't know what to tell you that you would like or love, but anything that builds, anything that connects the bridge, to the young black people where we come from, because we don't know about this. American officials don't really talk to us like that, and just being invited here. Uh, I was willing to stay here all day just to meet some black, strong people that really come from where we come from. So I appreciate you, and thank you for having us uh, today. I'm really, very excited that uh, my daughter, Jack Roman, insisted yeah. that you should come and say hello to me, and I appreciate that very much. I heard about last night yeah yes yeah, yeah. whoa 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 <laughs> and it's happening at a time when a lot of places in west africa and a lot of difficulties and here we have what a hundred thousand or something more that was a lot. I don't people know I was yeah. yeah coming out to to party to listen to you and enjoy themselves yeah. it's something really extraordinary we have to thank you for that make the best of it by reforging the link yes. and leveraging our mutual strengths of each other and for each other so that we can elevate the position of black people in the world yes. the, uh, here and ov over there in the americas as well it's a it's a very important development for both of us yes. i'm very keen on it and we're doing a lot of talking around the world yeah. to make sure that there's a clear understanding on all our parts of how very, very, very important it is for our, our future that we connect and everything that is built around that yeah. to grow. We have people with a major talent like mm -hmm. you do that helps and that you come here and expose us to the world and expose yourself to the world in that way too. All those things are important building blocks and we have to encourage it and I'm happy yeah. that the results of this year of return program has made more and more and more and more people like you, our brothers, our kith and kin in the Americas are finding their way here to rediscover their links, yeah. and reestablish them as well. It's, uh, uh, 10, 15, 20, 30 years time, we will see the benefit mm -hmm. of all of that for ourselves. Hey, it's me. We're at probably about my third string power, you know, uh, is what I started off with, but you know, I do reform now. Um, with that, because that's the most important thing I, I think I should say to you right now in this moment. Uh, I got locked up for basically the sun in a certain environment with an environment where you have to make a decision of do you want to stay alive, which was actually the smartest decision for that environment, but you have to be 21 years old to get you if somebody about to murder you. So I made a decision that I was willing to face if that time came, but when I got locked up with that gun, they said I was truly false. I always, at that age, I was 17, 18 years old, I had $18 in my pocket. I had two bags of marijuana in my pocket. I never really believed in selling crack. And my friends really started hanging out with each other and I got to know him, I scaled him because I don't know any powerful, successful white men. I never had, I asked him one day because I knew he was extremely powerful from me viewing him and I asked him, I said, could you come to court with me? He came in the back and told me that he wouldn't leave me back there. He swore to get these type of people supporting me. When I got out of prison, I wanted to make sure I give that back to the people. Just because it's a
Mais toi. <rire>